I take away feelings of enormous sadness for the individuals that lost their lives and, and for the individuals that were injured that day. But I, I, I've got lots of pride for the work that we did together. Um, and I can't help but add my sense of enormous uh, uh, feelings of gratitude to the members of the emergency services team that were doing the dispatching. Because in my view, and I think I was thinking about this last year as well, the enormous work, the, the, the heroic work that they did in making sure that the right patients got to the right hospital so that they could get the care that they needed and that everyone got care, that all of the, emergen all of the operating rooms in the city were busy saving lives, saving limbs, and, and doing everything that could be done. And that's what that disaster response was all about. Coming back this year, uh, it, it would be devastating if there was another incident from my point of view. I know that everything is being done that can be done in order to make sure that that does not happen. I have no second thoughts at all about going back, but I really do want it to be a beautiful day again. Um, I want the runners to finish. Um, I want to take care of the people who need care. Um, but I'm not looking forward to um, another uh, uh, tragedy. Um, it's hard enough work um, in that tent. You see lots of people very fast. And part of the effectiveness of what you do is recognizing the problem that they have, um, instituting therapy, uh, making sure that everybody in the team is contributing to that treatment and um, going on to the next runner and the next runner and the next runner. And th that's exhausting. Um, it's a hard day. And there is so much joy at the end of the day at um, celebrating uh, all of what you've done to help so many people. That's what we're about.